An ever before published prophecy attributed to Pope John Paul II has been revealed by a close confidant of the former pontiff during a memorial lecture on his life, the contents of which could cause scandal within the increasingly liberal and politically correct Vatican. Speaking in Italy on October 22, Monsignor Moro Longhi from Trieste, an Opus Dei prelate and for 10 years a member of the Vatican's Congregation for the Clergy, was still a student when he accompanied the Polish Pope on summer retreats into the Italian Alps in the 1980s and 90s. Born Karol Wojtyla in Poland, John Paul II was known for his love of hiking and skiing. It was during one such mountain retreat in the early 1990s at Bieno, northern Italy, that the Italian priest claims to have been told of a troubling vision by the pontiff. I had looked at him thinking that he might need something, the longtime friend of John Paul II explained as part of a series of recollections and anecdotes on their friendship, but he realizes that I am looking at him. He has the shiver in his hand. It was the beginning of Parkinson's. Dear Moro, it is old age, John Paul joked, before becoming more serious in tone and voice, according to the then student priest, going on to explain his vision. Remind this to those whom you will meet in the Church of the Third Millennium. I see the Church of the Third Millennium afflicted by a mortal plague, which compared to those of this millennium will be deeper, more painful, the Polish Pope confided, having meant communism and Nazism as the plagues of his time. It is called Islam. They will invade Europe. I have seen the hordes surging from the west to the east, from Morocco to Libya, from the Oriental countries towards Egypt. They will invade Europe. Europe will be a cellar. Old relics, twilight, cobwebs. Old family souvenirs. YOU. The Church of the Third Millennium must contain the invasion. But not with weapons. Weapons will not be enough, but with your faith, lived with integrity. Emerging from the Italian and French blogosphere in recent days, the story featured in Italian Daily, La Stampa, Tuesday, with an article appearing in its Vatican Insider website. The Turin-based newspaper at pains to point out John Paul II's commitment to interfaith dialogue and bridge building with the Muslim world, reports that Monsignor Longhi was unaware that his speech was being filmed and is saddened by the ensuing controversy. The revelations are unlikely to be welcomed by Pope Francis, a liberal on migrant policy, frequently on the receiving end of criticism from conservatives for holding naive views on immigration into Western nations. Conservative Catholic La Nuova Basola Quotidiana points out that in his 2003 apostolic exhortation, Ecclesia in Europa, the late Pope John Paul II counseled rather that the relationship with Islam must be PRUDNT, with clear ideas about possibilities and L-I-M-I-T-A-T-I-O-N-S. It is also necessary to take into account the notable gap between European culture, with its profound Christian roots and Muslim thought, the Polish Pope wrote two years before his death.
Public authorities have the responsibility of controlling waves of migration with a view to the requirements of the common good, the much-respected Catholic leader wrote in Ecclesia in Europa. Monsignor Langi, ordained a priest in 1995 and appointed to the Vatican's Congregation for the Clergy by Pope Benedict XVI, claimed in his lecture that John Paul II shared with him that he had received visions ever since the celebration of his first Mass, offered for the soul of his father in Wawel Cathedral, Krakow, Poland on November 2, 1946. It remains to be seen how the Vatican will react to the revelation of Monsignor Langi and to what, if any, extent the potentially explosive content may inform current church thinking on mass migration from the Islamic world into historically Christian nations.